Hey, this is Chris Butcher from Toronto, Canada. We're filming this down at my place in the Treme neighborhood of New Orleans, Louisiana. And this is a street brass tutorial. I'm going to teach you a song and a little history on that song. And I'm also making this to invite you to come out and play with street brass. If you want more information on the group, you can go to www.streetbrass.com. You can go to the Facebook search engine and type street brass in there. You'll find us, add us, like us there. Uh, so, you know, we teach music from the oral tradition. We teach it by ear as it's been passed down in folk traditions uh, prior to us because this is folk music, whether it's jazz, New Orleans traditional music, or in today's example, conga comparsa from Cuba. I'm going to give you a little bit of background on conga comparsa. The song we're going to play today is Adios, 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 Goodbye, Goodbye, Goodbye. And conga comes from the island of Cuba. And while you can find it in most of the cities on the island, uh, particularly at their baseball games, every uh, local baseball team would have a conga that plays in the stadium. And when they score, they light it up with a... Uh, you know, a little bit of a lively conga rhythm. But uh, the music definitely predominates in the east end of the island, in the city of Santiago de Cuba. And it reminds me of my time there. You might be uh, getting ready for bed in your Casa Particular, and next moment you hear the loudest thing you've ever heard. You walk outside, and it's a lineup, a crew of people. Uh, and, you know, each neighborhood will have one Conga de los Hoyos or, you know, representing different uh, neighborhoods, different groups. And it's very much like a New Orleans second line. They'll be marching down the street with dancing along with it. Uh, instrumentation wise, yes, you might find horns, uh, trumpet, possibly even trombone or saxophone. Kind of the iconic horn from uh, this style of music is the corneta china, which was brought by the Chinese immigrants to Cuba. And uh, kind of, it's a double reed instrument, very loud with a metal bell. And they use this instrument because it cuts over, uh, you know, however many drummers you have, dozens, hundreds. They'll be playing the quinto, the high-pitched conga, strapped to themselves. They have a drum resembling a bass drum, and another iconic instrument in it is they'll literally have a break drum, a big circular chunk of metal they'll be hitting with a wrench. And, uh, you know, if you're ever so lucky to be down there, I hope one walks by uh, while you're down there. You could also go to their festival uh, every year in the summer when uh, I haven't been, but apparently they overrun the streets. So we're going to get into playing this tune. And uh, one thing I should mention is, like most Afro-Cuban music, the backbone to it is the clave. And uh, we're going to have Yadira, uh, our resident Holguinera, come in here and play uh, claves for you for a minute so we can record that and uh, play over it. The clave is so important to this music, and it's really derived from the African bell pattern. What's going on is it's about the most elegant way to imply six and four at the same time. There's so many kind of permutations, so many uh, ways it twists and turns, and so many forms of music that you find it or parts of it in. The second line rhythm in New Orleans music is almost that identically. The Bo Diddley beat, you know, or uh, Brazilian music, we have many similar rhythms and uh, you know it's split in half is the tresillo which is the fundamental in almost all latin music uh, another split in half it could be uh, calypso so it's an important figure and we're going to play the tune today over the clave i do want to make another couple mentions about conga music in that it is prevalent in Cuban popular music. If you look at a song like uh, Conga Santiaguera 
by Ricardo Leva y Su Caribe. They've taken that rhythm and built a Cuban popular song out of that. Uh, if you listen to the latest Havana de Primera album, they close the album with Conga Pa Cerrar, Conga to Close. Uh, someone who's been an inspiration to me, Jane Bennett. If you listen to an album of hers, Alma de Santiago, she has many collaborations with Conga de los Hoyos. So uh, it's prevalent in you know many different facets of the music. And we're going to get on to learning this song right now. So unlike in our last video, we're going to sing it first this time. In our last video, we learned it on our horns first, and then we went and sang it. But, uh, you know, we're going to do it vice versa, the opposite way this time. But like yesterday, it's in B flat. So we're going to get this in our ear for a second. And we're starting on the third note. And remember, I'm always speaking in concert pitch, so you got to transpose for your instrument. So we're in B flat, right here, and we start on this note. Adios. And uh, we're going to play it an octave higher, but I'm going to sing it where I can sing it. So we've got, adios, 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 me tengo que marchar. Mañana volveré de nuevo a este lugar. That's most of the songs. We're saying adios, adios, adios. Bye, bye, bye. Me tengo que marchar. I gotta go. Uh, mañana volveré. Tomorrow I will return. De nuevo a este lugar. Um, another time here or of a new time to this place. So now that we've learned how to sing the melody, we're going to apply it to our horns. Remember, we're in B flat concert. All the notes we're going to play are out of B flat concert. And we're actually only playing between the first note of the scale and the fifth note of the scale. Uh, so we're going to start it off here. I didn't mention it, but we got a little pickup note. Uh, so our first note's B flat going to the third. So if you listen to this, so I'm starting on the root and I'm going to the third. So I'm going B flat to D. But that first one's just a pickup. So listen to this first phrase. It's hot cross buns. It's a million and a half songs. We're just going. Grace note from the first note up to the third and coming back down. So listen to this again. Okay, now we start on the same grace note. It's that B flat, but we go one note higher in the scale. So check this out. I'll play it for you again. Okay, we're starting on a B flat and we're jumping up immediately to an E flat. You got it? Okay, so we're going to jump up one note higher again. This time the grace note is one note higher as well. So it's... That's C, F, okay? From the second note of the scale to the fifth note. So we jump up to the fifth. We come all the way back down to the root going down linear, going down stepwise, then we go back up to the third. I'll play that again. And then the last phrase. Th three, three, two, two, one. I'm going to play the whole thing again for you, okay? Remember our grace notes. You got it all between B flat and F in our B flat major scale. This is why we practice our scales. This is why we teach scales. And I'm sure this was probably the first scale you learned if you play a horn. Now that we've learned the tune, we're going to go along and play it with the clave. 
which sometimes is easier said than done. I find it takes a while of internalizing this rhythm until we can play comfortably on top of it. The clave is a beautiful thing because it has tension and release in two bars. It's a call and an answer in one cell. It's how are you, I'm fine. And it's yin and yang. It's two parts that together balance themselves out. But, uh, you know, we've got something that's syncopated and we've got something that locks in on the bar. So check it out and uh, play along with me. It's one of those things that, as we have many people playing together, and as I hope we aren't dragging, but we've got some other people filling in the rhythm, it kind of all becomes clear. This is the little shell that makes it. So check this out. One, two... One, two, three. Okay, so we got two more licks I'm going to teach you today in this song. This next lick is a little bit tricky. It starts on a B flat. Goes to a G. Then it goes up a step. So you got that. That's simple. B flat, G, A. And then we jump. the E flat. The lyrics are Oh Havana Okay B flat G A E flat That's the lick, okay? Then the answer to that is the exact same lick down a tone in the B flat scale, B flat major scale. So it starts on an A. A, F, G, D. Oh, Havana. So I'm going to play the whole lick, both of those. We're going to play this with the clave, which is much easier said than done. So the tricky thing about this phrase is the syncopation. I don't come in on beat one. I come in on a pickup to beat one, but I hold it through, making it sound like I'm playing beat one. So check this out. You'll hear it. Listen again. Check it out. Don't be late. You got to rush it. Push it. Listen again. Okay, just don't be late on it. Okay, so our last phrase I'm going to teach you today is a little simpler. It starts on an F. Check this out. F, F, E flat, F, C, F. Play it for you again. F, F, E flat, F, C, F. And then we answer it. F, D, B flat, D, G, B flat, M, M, B, D, G, B flat.
So in its entirety, check this out. Finally, we're going to take this phrase we learned and play it along with a clave. It's tricky because the clave has a lot of syncopations and this phrase has a lot of downbeats. This creates a little bit of a rub in the rhythm and if we don't have complete confidence in the time we're playing, we could get lost. Try and listen along with me and uh, try your best. We can let the clave answer. You can sing along if you want. Let it answer. We're going to play it one last time. So thank you for tuning in today and learning this song along with me. See you soon.